Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghadaybiya Palace His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Royal Highnesses stressed that the ongoing developments and challenges require cementing and supporting national unity, warning of some practices aimed at affecting the basis of uh, pluralism and complementarity in the Bahraini society. They pointed out that the government will not hesitate to take all necessary measures that would preserve uh, civic peace and put an end to any acts aiming to take advantage of the wide scope of freedom to fuel hatred and falsify facts in a way that would have a negative impact on the cohesive social fabric. The Royal Highness has reviewed the measures that ministries and the relevant state departments have been directed to take to ensure that all platforms that are available for everyone should not be used in a way that would affect the Bahraini society's value and morals. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today at Ghadaybiya Palace. In the presence of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Following the session, the Cabinet Secretary General, Dr. Yasser bin Isa Al Nasser, issued the following statement. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, hailed the keenness of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to strengthen food security, especially in the field of animal production and the protection of a cultural and animal heritage, which was reflected in His Majesty's patronization of the Mara'i Show 2019, hailing the event's large turnout and outstanding organization. The Cabinet hailed His Royal Highness's initiative to hold a celebration at the UN's headquarters in Vienna on the occasion of the International Day of Conscience. They also hailed the message addressed by His Royal Highness on the occasion, which encouraged the world to achieve further safety and security. The Cabinet affirmed that this initiative reflects His Royal Highness's keenness to support efforts that enhance the universal conscience and promote international collective action in the service of humanity, security and peace. The Cabinet affirmed the government's continuous adoption of projects that ensure sustainable development at the forefront of which is energy projects, noting the importance of the Central Gas Plant 3, which was inaugurated by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and its role in increasing the gas sector's productivity to support the national economy. The meeting affirmed the importance of maintaining civil and social peace, tolerance and pluralism and acceptance of others in Bahrain and applying legal procedures guaranteeing the responsible exp expression of uh, opinion, especially in social media platforms. The cabinet stressed its keenness to strengthen partnerships with the representatives in Shura councils to establish the values of tolerance and peaceful coexistence among Bahraini society activating the legal procedures and facing immorality in social media prevalent in or preventing its misuse in spreading rumors and lies and inciting hatred in order to ensure the security and stability of the country and its social cohesion. 
The Prime Minister directed the Civil Service Bureau and the Ministry of Information Affairs to reinforce joint national values, develop government systems and set controls for public sector employees to deal with media to ensure they do not conflict with government policies. His Royal Highness directed to take legal measures to deter any insightful, inciting and hateful invitations, threats to civil and social peace, violations of other people's rights and damage to their reputation or attempts to undermine constitutional and legal institutions and entities, which are blatant violations of the foundations of the modern civil state in accordance with the Constitution, national legislation and international human rights agreements. His Royal Highness also affirmed that freedom of speech and expression does not mean in a way affect the sovereignty and independence of the state, its constitutional institutions or religious sects and components of society by provoking sedition and harming civil peace, stressing that the law will be enforced on everyone. His Royal Highness followed up on the procedures taken by authorities in dealing with water pools and damage caused by the recent rains in the country through the, submit through the submitted ministerial reports. The cabinet then reviewed uh, regional and international developments and affirmed the kingdom's uh, support uh, to Sudan, noting the efforts of the Transitional Council under the leadership of Lieutenant General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan in strengthening security and stability in Sudan. The cabinet welcomed the steps taken by the U.S. administration led by President Donald Trump in combating international terrorism and welcoming the U.S. Uh, designation of Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps as a terrorist organization which reflects the desire to counter Iranian-backed terrorism and undermine the role played by the Revolutionary Guards in threatening security and stability. The Cabinet approved the Coordination Committee's recommendations headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to implement 36 programs within its unified framework of, of prioritized government programs in its third version to be implemented in 2019 to 2022, which are linked to the main themes of the government's action plan for the same period. These programs meet the requirements of achieving financial sustainability and economic development, enhancing the basis of the country and the society and providing an environment that supports sustainable development. The cabinet approved the agreement on the exploration and joint production of oil between the National Oil and Gas Authority and the Italian company ENI and entrusted the specialized authorities with the necessary constitutional and legal procedures. The cabinet discussed seven memoranda of understanding, a cooperation agreement and an executive program between Bahrain and Kuwait to promote cooperation between the two countries in various levels including ports, customs, media, agriculture and marine resources, sports, culture and environment which was presented by the Minister of Foreign Affairs and referred to the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs. The Cabinet discussed signing five memoranda of understanding between Bahrain and France in the field of education, media, renewable energy and recourse development and was referred to the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghadebiya Palace the Malaysian Minister of Entrepreneur Development Datuk Seri Muhammad Ridwan Yusuf and his accompanying delegation who conveyed the greetings and appreciation of the Malaysian Prime Minister Dr. Mahathir Muhammad and his wishes of further progress and prosperity to the kingdom and its people. His Royal Highness asked uh, the Minister to convey his greetings and appreciation to the Malaysian Prime Minister and his wishes of development and advancement to Malaysia. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that strengthening economic cooperation between countries provides promising opportunities for investment, supports entrepreneurship and enables businessmen to establish successful partnerships that aid development. His Royal Highness asserted the Kingdom's keenness on strengthening ties with Malaysia and enhancing the economic partnership between the two countries, noting their promising potentialities. His Royal Highness expressed satisfaction with the Bahraini-Malaysian relations and the progress they witnessed on all cooperation fields based on historic fraternal relations and the mutual keenness on developing them. He stressed that the Kingdom is exerting continuous efforts to provide a business and investment environment that increases its competencies, welcoming and supporting Malaysian investment in Bahrain. For his part, the Minister of Entrepreneur Development expressed thanks and appreciation to the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness's efforts in developing Bahraini-Malaysian relations. He commended His Royal Highness's efforts in establishing the pillars of development in Bahrain, highlighting its outstanding achievement in all fields. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronized yesterday the inauguration of the Central Gas Plant 3, G or CGP3, that coincides with the 40th anniversary of the establishment of Bahrain National Gas Company, Bena Gas, and its headquarters in Sakhir. Upon arrival, accompanied by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, uh, was received by the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officials. After that, the royal anthem was played. During the ceremony, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the Kingdom's commitment to ensuring that the oil and gas sector continues to contribute to the Kingdom's comprehensive development, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness noted that based on Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030 and its guiding principles of sustainability, fairness and competitiveness, the Kingdom continues to ensure the long-term sustainability of its resources. He highlighted the significant achievements made in the kingdom's oil and gas sector, such as the discovery of the largest oil and gas basin, which contributes to the advancement of the sector and the establishment of various strategic projects, such as the CGP3. His Royal Highness then congratulated Benagas on its 40th anniversary and on the success of operating the new CGP3 project. He noted that technological innovations is transforming the oil and gas sector and will play a central role in increasing production efficiency. The Minister of Oil then gave a speech in which he extended his gratitude to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for supporting the oil and gas sector. He also expressed the appreciation, his appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for patronizing the inauguration of the CGP3 and Bena Gas's 40th anniversary celebration. The minister then noted the support provided by the company's highly skilled national workforce that continues to support the company's drive to become a global leader in the field of oil and gas, in addition to supporting the kingdom's development. He added that the CGP3, which is Benagas's largest industrial project, is consistent with the kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty the King and will facilitate the private sector-led growth and further contribute to the optimal utilization of energy sources in line with Bahrain's economic Vision 2030. كلمة معالي الشيخ محمد بن خليفة آل خليفة وزير النفط. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سيدي صاحب السمو الملكي. الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى النائب الأول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء أصحاب السمو أصحاب المعالي والسعادة حضورنا الكرام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يوم آخر من أيام الوطن بفضل الله نشهد فيه حصاد جهود سموكم فبسعيكم نحو الارتقاء باقتصادنا الوطني وتحقيقا لرؤية وتطلعات والدكم سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة 
الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة حفظه الله ورعاه ومع مرور أربعون عاما على تأسيس شركة بانجاس وبانجاس التوسعة تدشنون سموكم في هذا اليوم مشروع التوسعة الثالثة لمصنع التكرير مصنع تكرير غاز البترول المسال بسعة 350 مليون قدم مكعب لتصل إجمالي الطاقة الاستيعابية للتكرير إلى 650 مليون قدم مكعب وسوف يتمكن المصنع الجديد من استخلاص قرابة الأربعمائة ألف طن متري سنويا من سوائل غاز البترول المسال وهي غاز البروبين والبيوتين والنافثة حيث استغرق العمل على إنشاء هذا المشروع 33 شهر وتم خلالها إنجاز أكثر من 15 مليون ساعة عمل دون حدوث أي إصابة بفضل الله وقد بلغ عدد القوى العاملة أثناء مراحل إنشاء المشروع أكثر من 4500 بين مهندسين وفنيين وعاملين وأتاح سيدي هذا المشروع الفرصة لتوظيف قرابة 140 بحريني ويضاف ذلك إلى أعداد القوى العاملة لإجمالي المصنع الأول والثاني والثالث ليصل إجمالي العدد إلى 667 غالبيتهم من أبنائكم وبناتكم من الشباب البحرينيين وقد بدأ سيدي تشغيل الفعل للمصنع في شهر نوفمبر من العام الماضي بخبرات وطنية بحرينية على درجة عالية من الكفاءة والمهارة حيث تم تصدير أول حمولة وقدرها 23 ألف طن متري من غاز النافذة و25 ألف طن متري من غاز البترول المسال سيدي سمو ولي العهد إن إنجاز هذا المشروع جاء في وقت قياسي وكان السبب الرئيسي إلى اتباع نمط غير تقليدي في طرح المناقصة العامة حيث استعنا بطريقة الديزاين بيلد إذا تسمحون لي طويل العمر تكلم باللغة العامية إذا تذكرون الله يحفظكم طلبتوني في اجتماع في قصر الإخضيبية كانت من عن سنوات قليلة كان لأول مرة اجتماع في راديو في حديقة القصر واتخذت سموكم القرار بالمضي في هذه الطريقة دعينا ثلاث من الشركات المقاولات العالمية وطلبنا منهم على غير عادة تصميم المشروع عادة يطلب منهم فقط تسعير المقاولة في هذا المشروع بسبب توجيه سموكم طلبنا منهم التصميم وتسعير المقاولة بهذه الطريقة اختصرنا عام كامل لذلك نشهد سموكم في هذا اليوم تدشين المشروع كذلك وفرنا على التقدير الحالي 25% من الكلفة المقدرة فلكم منا سموكم جزيل الشكر هذا لم يكن يكون لولا قراركم الشجاع والسريع في وقته وأبشركم ثقتكم في أبنائكم وقدراتهم في تنفيذ مثل هذا المشروع أتت بثمارها فالفضل لسموكم ونشكر لكم دعمكم لهذا القطاع الحيوي فلولا ما استطعنا اليوم أن ندشن هذا المشروع لكم جزيل الشكر سموكم إلى أن نلقاكم بإذن الله في إنجازكم القادم كل عام وانتم بخير وشكرا مرة أخرى والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In November 2018, the CGP3 plan started its operations by a highly skilled Bahraini workforce where the first uh, NAFTA gas shipment was exported weighing 23rd or 20th, 20th uh, thousand metric tons and 25th thousand metric tons of liquefied gas. The CGP3 plant is designated to accommodate 350 million cubic feet of additional gas available in the Bahrain oil field. The new plant will be able to extract 382,000 metric tons per year from LPG liquids, which are propane, butane, and naphthan. A recompressing and recompressing the injecting gas surplus in the field.
During the speech of Bahrain's delegation delivered by the Labor and Social Development Minister Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan before the 46th session of the Arab Labor Conference in Cairo, the minister affirmed that Bahrain during the era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa is moving according to an integrated strategy for development on all levels. He noted that Bahrain adopts a national vision which benefits from all the available source resources to achieve the aspirations of citizens and meet their needs in various sectors including the labor sector by providing decent work and developing its human resources. He noted the steps taken by Bahrain towards achieving or she achieving the goals of sustainable development through the government interest in attracting various types of investments and creating an economic environment suitable for the establishment of modern Modern companies and opening the doors to investment in new vital areas in order to create quality and employment opportunities. He added that Bahrain has implemented a number of mechanisms to link vocational education and training to the needs of the labor market. He added that Bahrain has developed economic policies that contribute to creating an economic environment that promotes entrepreneurship and drives young people to self-employment and innovation. On, the note, on that note, the Arab countries' delegations participating in the conference elected the Labour and Social Development Minister Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan as head of the government's team. The minister asserted that this election reflects the appreciation of Arab government's representatives for Bahrain's unique experience at the labour level, especially that it came after the country represented the governing council of the International Labour Organization as an original member. The election establishes international confidence in the actions taken by Bahrain in the comprehensive reform process of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa with regards to the labour market. The minister noted that the government headed by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa has harnessed all resources to achieve the current distinct regional and international position of Bahrain.